Well, it's Sunday, May 8th, one day before the protest at Queen's Park, the Rally for Recall, in, in conjunction with some people from the Libertarian Party. The Canadian Firearms Network is going to be showing up. So, before the uh, event, I decided to go do an overnighter, head up north and do a little uh, target shooting out there. Took some toys, I'll show you them in a second. But, uh, just came out overnight and I had a few thoughts that I thought I would write down and talk to you about what I think you should be putting up if you were wondering about the protest signs that you would want to carry at the Queen's Park rally or some of the issues that you might want to consider. I decided to write some of them down. I thought I'd talk to you about it and at the same time give you some cool camping trips. Tips, uh, I had to put this up because there's no trees around here. <laughs> so I uh, chopped down some few things with my handy bear grillis machete. I like this thing, real handy. Much easier to use than my long machetes, but I built this little cover to throw the tarp over, which is now drying out because it actually snowed three times this morning. I haven't had a chance to get out my canoe because it keeps snowing and blowing. And I didn't want to leave my fire. The Fort McMurray people were always on my mind. And the last thing I needed was this to get out of control while I was making my tea and cooking my food. Uh, for some of you people who want to do some overnighters, consider this. Get these chicken strips, you know, from Walmart. Stick them on these things here. You can just cook them over a fire. And this thing here, I got a Canadian tire. It just hooks onto your fuel can. And you just stick it under all the pile of leaves and Everything you collect for your getting your fire going, get your kindling ready, good dry wood, and off you go. That thing got the fire going in like no time at all, a hell of a lot faster than anything else I use. But, uh, anyway, that was uh, something I thought. Oh, and these chicken taters. Try these things in this thing. Pick them up at the supermarket, work great. Bring a weather radio so you can tell what's coming. If you want, do it like I do. And glue a mouse to your air to, uh, hood of your vehicle. And uh, there's something that might interest you. Check out my T97 Ruger 1022. Picked up some ammo at uh, what Epps, this uh, MFS. I usually use the Narenko stuff because it's cheap and buy the crate. Stuff worked great, snaps out real hard. Bought this yesterday, Caltech Sub 2000, second generation 9mm carbine, uses Glock mags, and while I was there I picked up one of these mag loaders. I already have two other types of loaders, and they are, uh, some of them are finicky. If anybody owes a 10 22 Ruger, I advise you to get one of these things here. It's a Butler Creek loader, and um, the things make loading those uh, high capacity magazines a whole lot easier up a bucket of 9 mil while I was at Epps. So that stuff uh, worked great. But anyway, let's just uh, talk about a few things. I'm going to race through this before my phone runs out because it usually dies.